Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, come on in, put your feet up, get yourself comfortable and just relax. <laughs> Everything I'm using will be listed down below as always. Um, as you've seen at the very beginning there, that was the brand new summer releases from Nail Sugar. Um, there's a, a massive array of goodies that is perfect for the season as always. And there's lots and lots of new decals. Um, and the good thing is that Karen actually is always releasing them because, you know, she's creative. <laughs> um, I'm using the Neon Purple. This is it. Neon Purple Micro Mylar. Those Micro Mylars are just a godsend. I love them. And I'm using some alcohol ink as well as these tips. I actually wish I'd done them in longer ones but hey so first off I'm going in with purple haze and I'm doing that on three nails this is me just saying look I'm doing it in three nails <laughs> salty foam now and I'm going to do that on two nails and obviously once I've put a coat on I'm just going to cure that in the lamp now I'm going in with wisteria and some base coat so I'll put a nice thin layer it's just enough to grip the glitter um, and then I'm going to take a wee brush, you can use whatever, and just pat that into the wet base coat. I haven't cured it, um, but I want to try and keep this as flat as possible to the nail because it is at the cuticle area, so we don't want to have any bulk. Um, and just fade that down a bit because as much as I'm going to put some colour over the top of it, we, we want to have a nice wee fade going so that it doesn't look like a block. And again, I'm doing the exact same on this one, and I'm just wet base coat and then I'm going in and just tapping some of that wisteria in. Again, same principle, you don't want to have a, a block line, you want to try and fade it out a wee bit so that when you put the colour over the top it will fade better. So now I'm going back in with, this is, is a sea foam that I'm using I think. Um, so I'm going to try and make a cuff but I'm going to do it as if it's a kind of French is like a reverse French really it's on the opposite side so I don't want to make a straight line I want to make it so that it's kind of oval um <clears throat> excuse me as always clearing my throat <laughs> and I'm just trying to fade that down the glitter a bit but I don't want it to look like a dead stop so I'm trying my best here to try and get it to fade a bit and if you feel that like you've got too much product on just pull some of that off you know with your brush again doing the exact same thing with this nail I'm just pulling that down the nail a bit just to try and get that fade going and once I'm happy with those I cure them in the lamp now I'm going in with the rubber base now this is to encapsulate the, the glitter areas so I don't really want to put a lot on where the where there's no glitter it's just to encapsulate that glitter and protect it because if you don't do that, it's just going to be lumpy bumpy and it'll catch on everything. So now I'm going to take some foil and I'm moving on to the purple haze nails. And I'm putting some of the metallic and then some of the matte down as you see. Then I'm taking some alcohol ink and I'm just dragging that across the nail trying to get some kind of depth going there. Once I've done that, I'm going to add a really thin layer of base coat. Then I'm taking some of the purple micro mylar and I'm going to add that in sparingly. I'm just doing this to create some depth because these are gemstone nails so you want to create depth. Now I'm going in with no edit and I'm going to go diagonally across the nail just adding wee bits here because this is going to again add some depth and it's going to bring everything to life but I don't want to put too much on so you'll see that I'll take some of that off try to fade it a bit. And I'll try and make some areas a wee bit darker. Once I'm happy with that, I'm then going to cure that in the lamp. Then I'm going in with Beautiful Chaos, which is a kind of pearlescent purpley tone one. And I'm just adding wee bits of that here and there. Once I've done that, I'm going in with Salty Foam. And I'm going to go over the whole entire nail with that. It gives it that milky look. And then I'm just going to add those wee accents across the way with the uh, 
Apple Glass no edit, I think it was. And then I'm adding into that wet gel, I'm adding some more of the neon micromyla. I've cured that in the lamp. Now I'm getting in with the, the foils again. It's just wee rough. You don't want it to be like coming off in big chunks. That's why I'm just doing it in the base coat because it won't come off fully. Once I've done that, again, I'm going in with the alcohol ink. There we go. And then I'm going in with some purple haze. It's just a really, really light coat of it. It's just to give it that milky effect and you get the depth. Once I've done that, I'm going then in with the rubber base just to encapsulate everything and try and smooth off the nail a bit. Now I'm going in with Purple Haze on this nail and just doing a single coat of that over this. This is a second coat, I should say. Um, and just doing a couple of bits of the metallic and matte foil. Once everything's nice and cured, I'm buffing it. Wiping off any dust and debris, then I'm going in with just a really, really thin layer of base coat. And again, just adding wee bits of foil again. So matte and metallic again. And then just final wee bit. This is just some more of the alcohol ink just to give those kind of lighter areas and some depth there we go so now i'm just going to go in with some no wipe top coat and just make all these nails nice and glossy and bring them all to life because there's lots of sparkle and depth in these so we want to make sure that we can see everything um i really enjoyed making these i've never tried amethyst nails before so I do like doing the gemstone kind of quartzy type nails. They're very fun. Anyway, it's time for Scottish Word of the Week. Don't mind me. I'm just... Yeah, we yikes, slowly. I look like the mask. <laughs> With some mad colours in. <laughs> right, let's get into my first wee shout out. And the first one's for Laura's RN. And they said, love the nails. Pink and orange look amazing together. I agree. I love pink and orange together. It's very summery and cocktaily. And yeah. <laughs> if you want to know what she's talking about, check out my last video. Because that was... That's the ones. <laughs> um, next up is Tina Salmaso. And they said, I missed a live. Don't panic. I'm giving you pre-warning. This is your pre-warning. I am doing a live on Tuesday night. I'm sure it's half seven, but we'll, we'll double check that. <laughs> and it's my first ever nail natter with the lovely Karen Heidi Reese. So join us on here on Tuesday night and on it's on Karen's channel my channel and Facebook yeah <laughs> so you'll catch us somewhere <laughs> so there you go pre-warning <laughs> but we're doing it Tuesday night um so yeah I look forward to that look forward to catching up with you and having a wee giggle with Karen <laughs> right this week's Scottish word of the week is your wee smasher Ya we smasher. It means a person or thing that is excellent, impressive, extraordinary, like me right now. <laughs> or the like. That's <laughs> basically me. Me like this. <laughs> I'm a smasher. <laughs> oh, seriously. <laughs> Right, so that's it for this week. Catch up with me over in my Facebook group. Let me know what you want me to be. <laughs> and I'll see you on next week's video for Scottish World of the Week. But I'm also on Tuesday night for Neil Natter. See you then. Love you lads. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm off my rocker, but it's okay. There we go. So this is the finished result. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a wee thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a wee comment and consider subscribing, subscribing even if you haven't already. Don't forget Tuesday night, 7.30 for Nail Natter with myself and Karen Heidi Reese. And I have a Facebook group, so come and join me over there and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Love you lots. Bye.